guys, welcome, welcome back to another video guys In today's video we'll be looking at calculating the slope given two points And then we'll be looking at writing an equation from two points Now here we're just going to go ahead guys and calculate the slope of a line given two points So the question is what is the slope of a line containing the point 1, 2 and 3, 6 In order to calculate the slope guys we need to remember the formula for calculating the slope formula for calculating the slope of a line, guys, is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So this is also known as your rise over run, or your vertical change. an equation from two points. So the instruction says write the equation of a line that passes through the given points. The points that we have here guys are 0, 1 and 3, 3. Now in order to write the equation guys there are certain steps that we have to follow. So the first step, step one, is that we need to find the slope of the line. Based on what you saw earlier on, if you recall, the slope of a line, the formula for the slope of a line is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1, also known as the rise over run or changing or a vertical change over a horizontal change between the two points. So, now that we recall the formula here, guys, let's just go back to our points. For these points, we need to identify the x1, y1 values and the x2, y2 values. So, for your first point here, your x1 value is your 0 and your y1 value is 1. For the second point, your x2 value is 3 and your y2 value is also a 3. Let me just go ahead and write it here as well. So, x1 equals 
so what we'll do guys is that we'll just go ahead and replace the m and the p variables in the equation the y and the x will remain so our equation is now y equals two-thirds x plus one so this is our equation We're presented with two more points and we need to write the equation given these two points I'm not going to write out in detail the different steps like I did before since we should now be aware of what they are right so we just need to remember the first thing that we need to do is that we need to calculate the slope right so we need to recall the formula for finding the slope that is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 going to our points here the first point here represents your x1 y1 values or we can say your x1 y1 coordinate the second point represents the x2 y2 coordinates so now that we have all that guys we can just quickly rewrite it here as well so x1 is negative 2 x2 is 0, y1 is negative 1, and y2 is negative 5. So let's go here now and substitute those values into our formula. So y2 is not negative 5 right there, minus y1. y1 is negative 1, so I'll just write that in parentheses. All of that is divided by x2 which is 0 minus x1 which is negative 2 writing that in parentheses as well now we need to simplify this as we know two negatives together like this forms a positive the same thing is happening down here as well forms a positive so therefore in simplifying it we're getting negative 5 plus 1 divided by 0 plus 2 okay so now we're getting negative 4 divided by positive 2 which gives us negative 2 so therefore right here the slope is negative 2 so that's our slope so now we can just move on to the second step guys so for the second step, we're going to be using the slope, which is this negative 2. And one of the points up here to find the y-intercept. So I am going to be using this point 0, negative 5. Alright, so we'll start off by writing the equation in the form y equals mx plus, plus b which is the slope intercept form of your linear equation so that's what we have now we'll just substitute our values for x, y and m into the equation right here 0 represents the x value that we'll use and negative 5 represents the y value that we will use right? so down here we're going to get now instead of a y there we have negative 5 equals m which is the slope of negative 2 times x x is 0 in this case plus b continue to solve for b we have negative 5 equals negative 2 times 0 any value times 0 is 0 so we're just going to get a 0 right there plus b so this works out to be a negative 5 for b. So we know here that the y-intercept is negative 5. Right, so now that we've found the value for the y-intercept, we can move on to the third step right now. So now guys, we'll just write the equation. And to write it, we'll use the slope, which is negative 2, and the y-intercept value, which is 
themselves. Negative verb. So we're going to replace M and B with their respective values. So our equation is Y equals negative 2 for the slope. So that's negative 2X plus B. Because the Y-intercept is a negative 5, we'll just put that right here. So this works out to be our equation. Y equals negative 2X minus 5. Now let's move on to another question. So for this one, guys, you'll notice that we have some fractions included here. So, let's use the steps that we've used already to write the equation from these two points. So, let's start off with that slope. We need to find the slope. Again, we know that the formula for finding the slope given two points is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 okay going to our points here the first point represents the x1 y1 values the second point represents your x2 y2 values or your x2 y2 coordinates all right so now let's substitute those okay so here we know that x1 equals 2 sevenths, x2 equals 5 sevenths, then y1 equals 0, and y2 equals 1 half. Now we will substitute these values into the formula here, so we're getting 1 half minus y1, which is 0, divided by x2, which is 5 sevenths. Let me write that a bit differently. That's 5 sevenths minus x1, which is 2 sevenths. Okay, so we're getting 1 half minus 0, which gives us 1 half, divided by 5 sevenths minus 2 sevenths, and that gives us 3 sevenths. Now for right here, guys, to save time, I could definitely use the calculator, but I wanted to just work it out. So, uh, that's 1 half divided by 3 sevenths. So we keep the first fraction, 1 half, change division to multiplication, reciprocate, or flip the second fraction. So this becomes 7 thirds, then we multiply across. 1 times 7 is 7. And 2 times 3 is 6. So we end up with a result of 7, 6. So then that's going to be our slope. Okay, so the slope is 7, 6. Alright, so now that we have the slope, we can move on to the second step. So for the second step, we'll be using the slope which is 7, 6 and one of these points I'm going to use this one, the first one so we'll be using the point 2, 7, 0 to write the y, to find the y-intercept so for the point 2, 7, 0 case our x value is 2, 7 and our y value is 0 so let's start off by writing the slope-intercept form of a linear equation, which is y equals mx plus b. Right, so we're going to be replacing the x, y, and m values. Remember the slope is the m as well. So we're getting, instead of a y here, we're having 0 equals m. m is 7, 6 times x which is 2, 7, so let me just write that parenthesis a bit bigger times x which is 2, 7 plus b right, so let's go ahead and figure this out 7, 6 times 2, 7 we need to calculate this for 
simplified it. 7 times 2 is 14. 6 times 7 is 42. Now 14 and 42 guys can be divided by 14 without leaving a remainder, so we're just going to do that. 14 divided by itself is 1. 42 divided by 14 is 3. So, therefore what we're getting here is 0 equals 1 third plus b. Of course here guys, we know that to solve for b we'll have to remove the 1 third by subtracting it from both sides. So, b actually ends up working out to be negative 1 third. Alright, so that's our b value or that's the value for the y intercept. So now that we've found the y-intercept case, we can move on to the third and final step where we write the equation. And to write the equation, of course, we're using the slope, which is 7, 6, and the y-intercept, which is negative 1 third. So the equation needs to be in the form y equals mx plus b. So we're going to have y equals m. m is the slope. That's 7, 6. So we have 7, 6, x plus b. Here we'll replace that plus b, which is the y-intercept, with the value that we have, which is negative 1 third. So this works out to be our equation. Now let's move on to the final question here guys and this one has points which contain decimals so the first thing we're doing here guys is to go ahead and calculate the slope right and the formula for the slope is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 okay now, going to the points here, we know that the first point represents the x1, y1 values, or x1, y1 coordinates, and the second point represents the x2, y2 coordinates. So, now that we have that, we can just quickly write it out as well. So, x1 equals 3, x2 equals 0, y1 equals 2.5. And y2 equals 5.5. .5. So we'll just substitute these values here into the formula. So that gives us y2, which is 5.5, .5, minus y1, which is 2.5, divided by x2, which is 0, minus x1, which is positive 3. So here, 5.5 .5 minus 2.5 gives us positive 3. 0 minus 3 is negative 3. So we end up with a solution of negative 1. So the slope is negative 1. So now that we have the slope, we can move on to the second step, guys, where we'll use a point and the slope to find the y-intercept. So I'm going to be using... So we're going to be using the point 0, 5.5. .5. And of course, the slope, which is negative 1. So let's start off by writing the equation in slope intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b. From the point that we have here, our x value is 0 and the y value is 5.5. .5. So in, in solving for b here, instead of the y, we have 5.5. .5. Right now, a bit better. 5.5 .5 equals m, which is a slope, so that's negative 1 times x, x is 0, plus b. Continue to solve for b, we have 5.5 .5 equals negative 
one times zero, which is zero, plus B. So therefore, B, or your y-intercept, works out to be 5.5. Alright, so now, we can move on to the third and final step where we write the equation. And we'll write the equation in slope-intercept form. So, let's start off by writing that down. So that's y equals mx plus b. So we'll be using the slope value, which is negative 1, and we'll be using the y-intercept, which is 5.5, .5, to write the equation here. So, we'll have y equals the slope, which is negative 1, x, so that's negative 1x, plus b, b is 5.5, 5, so that's plus 5.5. Another way to write this same equation, guys, instead of putting the negative 1x, we can just put negative x. So we can have y equals negative x plus 5.5. 5. Let me just adjust this point up here. So that's 0.5. So this is your equation for the two points. Again, you may write it like this or you may write it like that with a negative 1x. Okay guys, so this is what we have for today. I hope you were able to relax uh, here with me today or even practice along. Let me know which one you did in the comment section. Go ahead, guys, and share this video with someone you think may also find it helpful. Subscribe if you haven't already done so as well. Wherever you are in the world, guys, remember to take care of yourself as best as you can. Give yourself some extra, extra love. On to my next video with you all. Take care. Alright, so bye.